Okay guys, welcome to the world. So I know this looks a little bit different. We're trying out a couple of things. Um, you heard about a few of them in my um, life update that I posted on Monday, June 1st, I think. Anyways, because um, I'm not in front of a calendar. This is the unboxing I told you about. Pup date. We are getting a puppy. Um, she's going to be our furry little four-legged newest family member. And we've known we were going to be getting a puppy for a while now. We've been searching for a puppy for a few months. Um, and there was some things that happened, as you heard about in my May Life update. Um, there were some things that didn't happen. You see a lot of stuff in front of you. Um, this was not all like an immediate purchase. This is stuff that we've been slowly gathering since we made the definitive decision to get a puppy. Um, and it's just kind of slowly been arriving. Not all of it was shipped, some of it was purchased uh, directly in store, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what we purchased in store, we're going to unbox the mass um, gathering of stuff that we've had shipped. Uh, the only thing you're not going to see us unbox that was shipped was the crate, and that's because that is already set up upstairs in um, in our room where the crate is going to be for routine purposes yes for <laughs> learning routine purposes um as of filming this we just got our one week pictures of the puppies um when this posts the puppies will be two weeks old they were born friday may 22nd at 8 48 p.m um super cute uh, there are no phones in the process of this. You will see me pick up my iPad because as you guys have heard me mention before, um, I'm not a fly by the seat of your pants kind of girl. I have a list in here. I, I legitimately have a checklist of things that we've been gathering and I'm going to check them off to make sure that what we ordered is what arrived. Um, and make sure that we are making our way through the needs of the puppy as well as through things that will come in handy for the puppy. So stick around, see what we think because I will also be updating you how this stuff works, how the puppies like it as we go. We might talk about some names while we're unboxing, you never know. Uh, this is kind of venturing into the little bit more of the lifestyle side of my channel. Um, so to quote Emperor Cusco, sit back, relax, have some popcorn, take a little sippy sippy you sip stuff. This is not wine, this is not alcoholic, this is um, like water mixing stuff that turns into juice when you add water. Not Kool-Aid, but like like those ones that you can get for like individual water bottles, you tear off the top of the packet, dump it in, shake up the water bottle. Uh, this is one of those, just big version. Um, it's grape flavored, which is why it's dark like this, but no, this is not alcohol. I do have my water over here. Um, my husband, MTG Therist, has his water because it's summer, stay hydrated. Always. By the way, I just got this cup from Target. It's the cutest freaking thing in the world. It was $9 and it holds 25 ounces plus ice. And it's like full stainless steel. And then I've got my little sip, sip, my sip stuff. My nails look like horridness, so many apologies for that. I'm just gonna kind of slide that over there. And I think, do we want to go ahead and let you start with the stuff that's on top, or do we want to start over here? Um, actually, let's start with the stuff that's right here. Okay. Yeah, it's in front, so we can get rid of it, or so we can put it off to the side. So, one, well, we got puppy pads with. Lavender odor, just so it doesn't smell like diapers. <laughs> okay, well, realistically, not just because they're diapers. I, um, any one of my friends or family that know me know I have a thing about smells. Um, like, even our guinea pig's bedding has, like, lavender and coconut shavings in it. Yeah. Because I don't do smells well. I can't stand things that smell. Um, these are not the ones that were recommended by the breeder. This was kind of our starter pack. Um, the ones that were recommended by the breeder have charcoal in them, and so I want to see how these go because the ones that the breeder recommended I could only find in like the big, big packs, and I don't know if I'm going to need a big, big pack. Um, 
I don't know if I've... If, and if we need more, we'll just get more. Yeah, we can always get more. We can always order more. But these are the ones we got. Um, real quick, just a segue, because I just noticed the brand on this. Yes, these are by Hearts. Um, I've not needed puppy pads in a long, long time. These were the ones that were in stock when we started looking. This was before I found out about the whole shampoo issue. If the puppy shows any kinds of problems with these pads at all, they will be thrown directly into the garbage. Yes, um, the only reason I'm still willing to give them a try is because they are just for her to go potty on. I do not use Hearts flea medication. I do not use Hearts shampoos. I do not use Hearts puppy sprays. Um, like this is the this is the only Hearts product. And the only reason that I'm bringing this up is because I know there is something going around about hearts right now. And the only reason I am making mention of this is because, as I have told you guys, I only want to share stuff with you guys that I like and that I endorse. Um, so I will not be using any of their shampoos. Um, I'm not going to go into detail. There's plenty of articles on the internet if you want to know why. Um, have I told you why? No, but that one can be I'll a tell you why later. off. I'll tell you why off camera because I don't want to depress my channel. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I saw that like as he was taking it away, I didn't even realize they were hearts. If I would have realized they were hearts, we would have bought. We would have probably gotten them. Yeah, we would have bought something else. Well, then we had to get her a brush. Had to. Yeah. Um, fun fact, guys, we're getting a German Shepherd, like a full-blooded German Shepherd, so all of the shedding. Um, we went with one of these brushes because she's going to be a little bitty puppy and so we wanted like the little dots on the edges and this has like the boar bristles which will make her uh, her fur i keep wanting to call it hair it'll make her fur like nice and smooth and super super shiny yeah and so that's good there and then we have the smell or the poop bags that have a scratch and sniff and I swear I will not be scratching or sniffing them at any point because I can smell them from here. They actually cover up the, or they're supposedly be able to cover up the smell of well when she goes to the bathroom. So. And not not gonna lie, y'all. Um, we were looking at these. I want them cute. I'm a girly girl, like a little bit. Like I still love to blow stuff up and I still love to get down and dirty. But there are parts of me that are girly girl, including my dog. Um, and when I saw these, and I saw that you had the bright pink ones, and I saw that they had designs, when I was growing up, my role model was Elle Woods. And a lot of people may not know who she is, but she was one of the best people. She was one of the most positive people I could ever think of. And then my friend pointed out to me that they were scented, and I had one pack that was scented and one pack that was not, and I kid you not, I walked all the way back through the pet store just so I could exchange and find the same design, but sent it. She did. Because why not? And I mean, they're scratch and sniff. I'd rather not scratch and sniff after I uh, using one, so. No, I don't think that's how that works, sweetheart. I love yeah. you. I know, but it's just funny. Okay, so I'm marking off the poop baggies. I'm marking off the brush. I marked off the crate because that, it up, that is upstairs. I know I have pee pads on here somewhere. I don't think I actually put it on there. Uh, oh, puppy pads. Yep. I just had it under something else. Okay, what do we want to go with next? I actually want to go with what... With the... Okay. We're going to go with what we bought before the packages got here. Well, I mean, it was... No, it's not necessarily dirty. before, but... It was dirty. Yeah. So go ahead and pick that up. Um, I will be. He's gonna hold this real quick. We found this at Target, you guys. Um, it was, it's a really neat little basket. It, it's collapsible, it's squishable. It's like a good sturdy, what is this material? It's not like wicker. It's like a pleather-ish. They just called it a storage basket. It was, it's supposed to be $12.99. We got it on sale. Um, it's gonna go under RTV to hold like puppy toys. Um, and speaking of puppy toys. Oh, you get to go first. Okay. So while we were in the pet store, I love NCIS. One of my other role models as a kid was Abby Shudo. Um, and 
I drink a lot of caffeine. He drinks a lot of caffeine. And so I couldn't not get the K9 Big Burp because it reminded me of Abby's calf pow. And it crinkles. And I'm pretty sure there's a squeaker. Oh, there's a squeaker in here. No, there's, there's one. <laughs> there's a squeaker. <laughs> She, she will turn into a child when she squeezes them because it's, it's fun. Sorry. Why not? I'm excited. Y'all can live with it. Yeah, I'm excited too. Okay, your turn. And, well, I mean, this other than the calf pow, yeah, other than the giant drink, we also got, well, everybody's favorite lamb. With it's a much a higher squeaker. pitch squeaker. And I actually picked this out for the dog because we, well, both <laughs> love the, uh, well, <laughs> the song that Lammy likes to sing. What I'm just, just now discovering is all of these toys have loops on them. Yep, it's so you can hang them. Huh. I never hung my last uh, Shepherd's toys. Okay, the next one that I'm going to get is Big Guys. Uh, like, not like Big Big, but like big-ish, and I saw it's, this. It's long. And I couldn't not. And it keeps going. And it's an octopus. It is, like, longer than my arm. Just by a bit. <laughs> and I know... Oh, there's actually not a... Oh, there's a squeaker in this one, too? Every single toy does. Most of the dogs But does. I like this one because it's super, super soft and as like a baby. She can cuddle it. It crinkles, so it's going to be, like, stimulating for her. But at the same time, you can just, like, wrap it up. Plus, we are very much beach lovers, and you can't not get at least one ocean-themed toy. Yeah. You can't not. That was a double negative, wasn't it? I think so. But, yeah, oh, it's wow. fine. It's... This is our first, well, video together, so... That's not, it's not. You, you've been in a few of my videos. Eh, anyway. But, other than that toy, I had to get this Nerf ball shooter thing for dogs. And it shoots tennis balls, which they actually come with three of them. And I'm actually really excited for this because I used to play baseball and I whenever, or because I haven't played it for years, I uh, kind of can't throw a ball that far without throwing out my arm, so this will help. <laughs> and my shoulder still shot from last summer, um, yeah. but it's getting better. And he's already tested it with we, who we know is going to be her puppy pal. His name is Bear. He is adorable. He is. Um, and he tested it the other day with a... Uh, bouncing ball that uh, was like approximately it, the same size it's the same size but weighs a little bit more and that thing actually shot a good 15 feet out so so not bad so yeah it's gonna shoot pretty far and it's that dog's gonna run a lot so that was the toys that we got prior um and so our next note is going to be uh, we're not going to take it out and show you uh, just because it's full of stuff we got us ourselves a clear locking crate from target um, it was $8.99. It was like a 16 quart, I think, crate. Mm -hmm. um, and the lid locks, and we just used it because he's nerdy. I'm a little bit nerdy, but not as nerdy as him. Um, and we used it to just kind of like put all of his like super fancy loot crate nerdy stuff in and kind of lock it down in so that the stuff that's not supposed to be a chew toy wouldn't end up a chew toy. Yeah. And I'm very very um, liking my stuff intact. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we also had, we had to get to puppy treats. We preemptively bought them, but uh, we also fed some to uh, her puppy pal, Bear, and he liked them, and he doesn't normally eat these, so. So these are dog biscuits by Mother Hubbard's Cupboard. Um, you can get them from Chewy. I've also seen them on the PetSmart app and the Petco app, and we got the multi-flavor thing. Oh, yeah. And they, or we actually picked them up at Walmart. Funny enough. Yeah. We got the, like, small breed dog ones because she's a puppy, and so it needs to be smaller. Um, but we will update you on how she likes these. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, 
I think I'm done with some of the stuff that I have, so I think it's time. You want to pass me the scissors? The scissors. You want to do the bags first? I feel like we should do the bags. We're doing the bags first, okay. but you're doing yours first. So. And safety scissors to be safe. <laughs> These aren't my good scissors. Nope. What are my chances you'll go up lens to grab the scissors that are on the table? Okay. And here. Okay. So he went off lens. He just popped off real quick to grab scissors. These aren't my best scissors, but they're just stainless steel. I'm not sure why they're like rose gold colored, but they are. This says to tear the perforation to open it, um, but I don't do well at tearing. So I'm just going to cut at the perforation. She'll probably be using these scissors a lot more than I will. We didn't think to get a garbage bag. Yeah, that's what the floor is for right now. Okay, what's in here? So we've got our little shipping slit. Oh, okay, that's what these are. So, as I mentioned, L Woods is like one of my favorite, oh, this has some weight to it, which means I have a feeling. Oh, cool, it's, it's preloaded. So, as I mentioned, L Woods is like one of my favorite people. And that's the other little receipt slip. Um, we got these little uh, puppy pooper picking up bag holders. I know they have an official name. I don't know what the official name is. Neither I've been calling I. them uh, pooper picker upper bagger holders. Yeah, she has. Um, and I wanted one that I was hoping. Let's see. I mean, it feels pretty good. How's the? Oh wow! Oh, that's. That's bright. That's a good bright light. How are you? How are you doing that? Twist that. Oh, yeah. And it comes with um, two rolls, one roll in each. It's a pretty thick plastic. There's no, like, smell to it, which is really nice. And we will, well, she will, uh, be adding if these are a good buy for puppy stuff. Yeah, I will update you guys um, if I they mean, end up being a good buy later or not as we as we get updates on the puppies i probably won't be like weekly updates when this goes up the puppies will be two weeks old so i think your guys's next update will probably be at the four week mark um or like i'm not sure it might be at the four week mark it might be uploaded when they're five weeks and recorded four weeks i'll i'll keep you guys updated on my instagram so follow me there um i'm gonna get permission from the breeder to post pictures of the puppies um so stay tuned for that if i can't get permission i'll let you guys know with a post and i mean she might give us permission once we officially pick the puppy but she might um let's just set this stuff in here and then these what i really like is they came with a d-ring kind of clip so it's not like and it's an actual good metal d-ring clip as opposed to oh you know what i just realized huh well i don't know the bags we got should fit in there Oh yeah, they will. These the, ones the, the, are just the, like smaller. smaller. Yeah. Okay. And we had to get like one for me and one for him because I'm not gonna I'm not about to be walking around with And for me I get off at about or or I I get off of work when the sun rises and if she's not up I'm going to take the dog out and I don't wanna be walking around with bright pink. I'm already gonna be probably walking around with a bright pink leash and a dog with a bright pink collar it's i would rather have one i mean unless we decide to get you your own like leash set to keep nah. in your car nah. well maybe in the car we might do that now for mine i'm just gonna open it. i'm gonna rip it you, you're you're gonna go all christmas morning on it oh yeah well he's gonna try i'm gonna try what did you get? I know what this is. Um, Why is it a bag within a bag? So it's a bag within a bag. <laughs> okay, keep all of it's these totally for the puppy. Right. So this is a pink. That was. Oh, that's what that is. That's the only color that came in. <clears throat> it's called the doo doo tube. <laughs> and what it's for is after you, well, pick up the dog's, well, Do -do. bathroom, uh, you get, and you get a card. A card. 
you can have it hooked on to you and, well, you can grab it and walk, you don't have to hold it anymore. You hold it in this thing, it covers up the smell, well it's supposed to, anyway, and it comes with a nice uh, D-ring that should hold on for a while. So you can probably hook this on your belt or if you walk around with your purse with your dog for some reason, with the purse, or you can put it on the leash and have it at the, uh, have it around the loop. But yeah, it's called the uh, Doo Doo Tube. So uh, if you want to look that up, actually, uh, the videos are funny. So it really is. <laughs> um, you can find it on Amazon. This is just like the care. So we'll keep this. Okay. Because we'll that's we'll put this. We'll put it back in the Doo Doo Tube. That's just like the how to disinfect it and whatnot, which is All useful. Right. Um, it's up to you. So I'll open this top box next. And then I will open up mine. Uh, might actually let her open up two first uh, before I open up mine. But I'd rather have her open up the last one. So. Okay. They taped this crooked. Yes, they did. So this one just arrived today, which the reason that we're doing this today is because we've been waiting for this last one to get in. Um, this was the, like, we originally didn't plan on taping this today, um, because a lot of this stuff wasn't supposed to be here this soon, and then we got the updates that everything was coming in early. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. That's, I mean, that's a good size. I remember reading. So what this is, is a food container. Um. Within a food container. Yeah. So this is the three-piece. Where's my slip? Is the slip in there? No, it should be in there. Ooh, that's gonna want. We're gonna want to leave that open. That's gonna smell. Ooh, yeah, it does. That means it was yeah. it's fresh plastic. It's freshly made. Chemically smell. Mm, let me. Uh, fun fact: my husband. We want to slide this forward a little bit so we can put this on the ground. Yes. Uh, so my husband works with resin making bottles, so that's why he knows what the fresh plastic smells like. Oh, that's really nice. I didn't realize the lids were attached. Um, so this is a three-piece <laughs> set. Um, it's got a two-cup scoop, which... Um, Actually, has lines in it for... Has lines in it. I don't know if those lines are, like, legit measurement. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Oh, nice. That's cool. As small as a half a cup. Okay. It's got wheels. Let's put the wheels on. Yep. So that we can see what its size is. Oh, and, uh... Put the... together. I wanted to get the cardboard out so we didn't have to uh, deal with that. Whee! That hit the door. And they actually screw in, which is kind of nice. No, I think they just pop in. No, they screw in. No, no, no. They just pop they in. They just pop on. I won't. And we got the ones with wheels because we are notorious for Are they all in the right direction? Yep. They, they oh, they don't fall out. Nope. And we got this so we can go from place to place because we always go, okay, where do we want to put it today? Well, <laughs> for me, it's not even a place to place thing. For me, it's more of a it's sealed. It actually has a foam seal, which will help keep the food fresh. Yep. Um, and longer. And since we buy big bags, always, it turns out better. I actually like that. Yep. I really like the pink color. We ordered it in pink because we know we're getting a girl. Um, oh yeah. That's like it's a little bit shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, same. But, I mean, I like it. It's okay. It's... And I imagine if we empty the bag out, it'll probably still hold a good chunk of food. Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah. if this doesn't hold at all, we can use this top one. Although I did want to use that for wet food. If needed, we can use it for dry food until it runs out. Yep. So. So, yeah. That over there. Now, on to mine. Like I said, I'm just going to... He's Christmas. just going to Christmas it. I'm going to Christmas it. While you're doing that, I'm going to go check off the food container. And food we storage. also have a cat. We do. 
Um, and, the baby girl, I think you may have seen her in some of my posts. Yes, and we have so many things that we have to do for the cat to make sure she's ready for the puppy because we don't think that she's ready for it. So we got the her. Things we got. It is. I'm going to toss the box over here. You got the slips? Yep. So we oh, got there. her a, well, new uh, <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> we, yeah, we got her a new potty um, because we didn't, we wanted her to be able to feel safe from the puppy. She wanted to go hide. Uh, we wanted her to be able to. And we also don't want the dog. Thinking it's Kitty Roca. I do need scissors for that. Because I cannot Christmas that. <laughs> okay, well do me a favor. Don't put this together just yet. I'm not. I'm just going to show. Um, oh, could you get that one? This one we got off Amazon. Um, if you couldn't tell from the box. We have, yeah, pretty much most of this stuff came from Amazon. And then as you can tell, as you'll tell by this box, it's chewy. Um, and this, we had a $5 credit on Amazon. And so it was a $10, it was $10 um, on Chewy. I've seen it for more, but I was able to find it on Amazon for $10. And Sorry. after our $5 credit, we got it for $4 and change. Um, and then we have a Prime membership. So we don't generally, like we pay for shipping on some things, but we don't generally pay for shipping. Okay. So I got the tape off and I just wanted to show what it looks like and then I was going to put it right back. So it's a big old ball. Uh, it's not really like a ball. It's like a, it's, it's like a, it's like an egg shape. If we wanted to, we could seal her in here and transfer her to places. Like That's, that's terrible. No, but, we can't because the door. Yeah. It's broken. I did not break it. You broke it. I broke it. But, um, and the reason we picked this one, this hooded one, is because it's got a carbon filter on the top uh, to help with smells. And we're going to want to wash the inside of this first. Yep. Oh, I already know. But yeah, we had to get it for her so she had a place so the dog didn't try eating the, well, poop. Or hugging her while she's going poop. Yep. So. So on and so forth. Yep. And. And so we're going to be transitioning her into this. Uh, we also got her, um. My, my friend's parents were getting rid of a cat tree, and so we got her a nice little cat tree up there in the corner. It's a little four or five foot one. Which she really loves. And so the cat well, the cat thing is here. I know it's on here. Yep. And we definitely had to get it for her just for all of those reasons. And like, but we would, well, let's, we've been talking about getting a covered one because, well. She kicks it everywhere. She kicks it everywhere. And I don't mean the poop. Like, she digs to China. She'll go in there and spend, like, 30 minutes in there digging. Yeah. Like, I have walked out from where she has her little cat box and the, well, the kitty litter we use is about 20 feet away from it. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, um, we're and as home. we're getting through here, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Fine. Um, as we're getting through here and I'm realizing just how long this is, I think this is just going to be an unboxing and then I think we'll have another video um, come in the coming weeks that's just a sit down, you and I talking about the puppy, oh, like yeah. name options and how we're getting prepared and things like that. Um, and I also just remembered something else that we're not going to show you guys because it's already actually set up in the house is on our, um, we got baby locks on a couple of our cabinets. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry about the random cut. Camera died. Well, more had a power saving setting and we forgot to turn it off and I knew this was going to be a long video, so... Yeah. I knew it was going to be a long video, but it's longer than I thought it was going to be. So... Yeah. This is our checking in with you. We're about halfway, halfway through? Yeah, halfway through yeah, We're about halfway through. Um, a lot of this stuff might be, well, some of it might be sped up, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah. But keep sippy sipping in your sip stuff. We just put that on the box by you. Up next, um, I have cut this box open already because I cut it open and then we realized the camera had shut off. Uh, so I don't need the scissors for this, but the next box is Chewy.com. Sorry, I just like whacked you with the box. Whacked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So with Chewy.com, we really, um, 
this is something that we were kind of hesitant on. <laughs> well, we were a little bit hesitant on, but at the same time, I was a little like I really wanted to try it because we I've both, seen, like we both did. We've seen the commercials. I wanted to know if it got delivered by a chewy person in a blue shirt. Call me naive. I know it had to be shipped. But I thought maybe it was like Amazon where they just had like little chewy vans kind of going around delivering <laughs> chewy boxes. That would have been adorable. But no, it goes through FedEx. Yeah, spoiler, it goes through FedEx. So it's delivered by a person in a purple shirt. It's close enough. Um, disclaimer before I get into this box. It's nothing about what's in this box. It's I know this looks like a lot of stuff. Um, I am well aware this looks like a lot of stuff. This was not a mass all at once purchase. This is, we have been so slowly buying stuff and having stuff shipped to us um we are lucky enough that my husband gets paid uh every week and so what we do is we pay our bills we handle the household and then we look at our list and we look at what is on our list what we can get what i can find that you know the coupon applies to if the coupon doesn't apply to it because my thing is i'm also making sure i'm getting good quality items because I'd rather get a good quality item and only have to buy it once than get, you know, like a lesser quality item and have to replace it in two months because it died or it broke or, you know, it split or so on and so forth. And then in regards to Chewy, um, when I found Chewy, I was like absolutely in love. We actually spent a couple hours. Uh, the other night just laying here. A couple here. hours. <laughs> yeah, a couple hours just laying here looking at all of the stuff on Chewy.com. Um, in case you haven't figured it out by my Disney inspired series and by like my Cusco quote and a bunch of randomness that I do. Yeah. I'm secretly five. I love stuffed animals. I love things that are girly granted. I still love to blow stuff up. I still love to take stuff apart. But I also adore Disney. And I discovered that Chewy has Disney stuff. Um, a lot of it too yeah and i'm not even gonna lie i'm still like three quarters tempted come closer to halloween time to get some of the nightmare before christmas stuff for the dog and the cat oh yeah because i mean well, i was already kind of expecting it but eh, well i I'm mean done with it. It, it's cute and it's disney and it's nerdy enough for me yeah <laughs> um and so that's my little disclaimer my other disclaimer is i'm realizing that this is a very long video um, some of this stuff might get cut, some of it might get sped up. I'm not sure because I honestly haven't been paying attention to how much we've been talking versus opening. Um, so some things might get sped up, um, it or it may just end up being like a really long video. I might try and do it in two parts. I don't know yet. Um, but, so this box is cut, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. It, what's really nice is it says thank you on this one panel. And, and then it says gives you a number for the uh, support or if you have any questions or anything um, the box does say box may be heavy we try to pack our orders efficiently to reduce our carbon pop print um, so we're gonna go ahead which and is this. adorable <laughs> what's really really nice is if you're not sitting down like I am chill I'm trying to help I'm sorry it's got these nifty like handles flaps so that you can give it a good lift and all the paper for all the papers. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, we ordered this and I completely kind of forgot about this. We're going to save this for last. So we're going to kind of squish this down here. Um, we have been getting like puppy stuff and kitty stuff. And one of the things that Chewy had right now, we currently give our cat crunchy treats. Um, and while she really likes them, we wanted to know how she felt about some Chewy ones. Um, and they had on sale, because I don't know what Chewy, Chewy does this really awesome thing where they want... Oh cool, there's a tab for breaking down the box. That's nice. Sorry, I get really distracted really easy. Um, but Chewy does this really interesting thing, and I actually love that they do this, that they have like these random sales, and they don't really post it. It's just like every day that you go in, there's certain, like there's different things that are on sale. And so the Meow Mix, which is her preferred food, um, like both wet food and dry food, funny enough, um, like we've tried her on other things. We've tried her on Blue. She won't eat it. We, we've tried Blue, we've tried Purina, we've tried a bunch of things. She will eat meal mix and only meal mix. Um, She's a spoiled cat. Yeah. And so <laughs> we thought we'd get her some of the meal mix irresistible soft in turkey. And it's made with real turkey. Um, and I mean, it's got 24% protein, 8% fat, and feeding instructions. 
Huh, wow, you can actually give her like 13 of these a day. You probably won't. But no, we don't, no, we don't give her treats like super, super often. Um, but we do give them to her once in a while. So we got these, so if you want to go ahead and put those over by the pupper treats. And she definitely needs to try these. So when, when uh, we are more or less done here, probably gonna give her one because uh she's probably pissed off at us right now um so the next thing we're gonna pull out here oh first we're gonna wait stop she's more or less irritated at us yeah uh we've got our little yep just making sure uh we've got our little uh carton label receipt thing want to put that over on the table um the next thing i'm gonna pull out my brother also loves to spoil our cat and for christmas he got her like a little water fountain um and within like two days of having the it, it's one of those like pet filter fountain things, things. <laughs> uh, it's basically the smaller version of one of these and within two days of having it up that's all she would drink out of she wouldn't even touch like her, her water, bowl that water we anymore had. um and so we she's like fully transitioned onto that so she gets fresh filtered water like throughout the day every day um, and she actually drinks more using it. And then we knew getting a puppy, the puppy was going to want to drink out of the same thing, but it's cat sized. And we know that the puppy being what the puppy braided it is, it's going to get big. So we went looking and we actually found a bigger one. This one holds up to a gallon. Um, it still has the filter and it still has the flow control and the multiple layers. And it definitely has a lot more, well, <laughs> it's going to get a lot more use out of it because it won't be just the dog drinking yeah. out of it as well. Which is why we got the one that has multiple layers so that she can, the puppy can drink out of the top or the bottom or she can drink out of the top or the bottom. Uh, they run, they don't use a whole lot of power, which is really nice because it's a continuous flow of water. It does encourage them to drink more water, which is also really nice. Um, this one has a ramp so it reduces splashing. Uh, low voltage power supply um, and it's got this one this one itself has a three-stage filtration um, and because we know that where we are it doesn't always have the best water so I like that they get filtered water um, and it's dishwasher safe because it's it, 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 it's gonna need cleaned a lot cuz doggy drool um, and uh, a second ago, I was talking about one of my favorite things about Chewy is they constantly have random sales. This was on sale for 49% off. And then we had an additional 40% uh, off coupon? 30% yeah. off coupon? 30. 30% 30 off coupon that was applied in checkout uh, to the entire box. So when I say we are doing this in a very thrifty manner because I'm a thrifty shopper and I think that got cut out when the camera died. I'm a very thrifty shopper if I can like I want high quality stuff but I'm also going to find the most economically responsible way to do it. Um, and so like when I saw that this was 49% off and then we had an additional 30% off the entire cart coupon we used it because <laughs> this thing was originally $70 and then at 49% off it brought it down to like 35 Yeah. And then the last thing that we got it because the one place where Chewy does get you, I will say, is they charge you shipping unless you've got $49.99 in your cart. And fun fact is it's $49.99 before taxes, before discounts. So like if you are subtotal prior to any additional coupons or taxes or like because our 30% coupon applied after the $49.99 and we paid less than $49.99 we still got free shipping. And since this was $35, we only needed a little bit more to make that $49.99. And so this was $35. The treats were like a dollar um, when they were on sale. And then we found this. And this guy was on sale. And I saw him when we did our couple of hours of looking. And I was super obsessed with it. It's what started the couple hours of looking. It really is. And like, I almost didn't believe that this was a thing that was possible for puppies, but. You can rip it open. It's a unicorn. Yeet. And it's not any unicorn. It's a huge plush 
unicorn. This thing measures from the highest point forward to the furthest point back two feet. And it's 18 inches wide. And it has squeakers, I think, or is it just plush? Thing. I thought it had squeak. Oh, yep, it's got a squeaker in there. It's not a very high pitched squeaker. It's not very. Why is it the squeaker in its butt? <laughs> I don't know, but there might be one. Uh, there might be. Oh, and there's squeakers in the feet. Does the horn have a squeaker? No. No. That, that's kind of dangerous. Eh, not really. But. But we, I was super excited about this. And I am. I did warn her before we got it. It's, it's good that, um, that she has to keep her unicorns up higher or somewhere else where the dog can't get them. So uh, This is by the brand Frisco, um, which is a good little brand. But yeah, and it's so soft, you guys. It's like almost as soft as a puppy. We're going to go ahead and just plop this into the... Into the dog oh my gosh, it almost takes up the... Here's the scissors. I'm kind of sticking uh, my foot out here. Oh, I figured you'd put that on the table. I'm kind of sticking my foot out because my knee is going numb. Yep. And now I get to open up my last box. So, I know what this is. Are you sure you don't want scissors? Yeah, I'm sure. Because yeah, this like... is two boxes. There should be two boxes in one. So... It's a box within a box! It's also what we opened up first. This one we actually got for the cat because we're, we're kind of those animal parents that we can't just get one thing without getting the other one one. Well, also it just makes sense. So we it get does. our cat large bags of food. Every our time. cat will eat through the side of the bag. She actually has. <laughs> this current bag, she ate through the side of it. And now I'm just breaking everything. Oh, Jesus, we'll put it back together. I'm oh, trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Sorry for the language, cheesy tits. I don't know if that's any better, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's we'll not. find out. It's not, but it's fine for right now. I'm going to leave the scoop in the upper shelf of hers. This time, I get to put it together. You do. Here's your wheels. Ow! I'm sorry for the toe tape. My and poor toes, you guys. In the last week, I have kicked my bed frame twice. Kicked the new dog crate at least Ooh, three these times. These ones are tougher. And actually, these are smaller. Are smaller than the other ones. Well, it'll be a good way for us to tell it apart. Yep, there's little um, wheels. And so just to kind of give a little bit of a thing, um, the reason that our cat got a red one and the puppy is getting a pink one is because the cat's not like a really a girly girl. No, the girly girl is thing about that cat is her collar that we got her. That's it. Which she needs a new one anyways. Yep. Um, Which will probably get a red one so she matches her food container. Yes, but also yes. we got her in the fall and her name is Holly because she's a Christmas kitty. And we know which one's which, so that's the other reason. Interestingly, smaller wheels, same height. Actually, smaller wheels. Same height. Yeah. Well, maybe a hair shorter. Just a hair. Okay. But that's that one. Okay, I'm going to turn to the side a little bit because now for the big one. Now, guys, I have, um, as I've discussed before. Okay, nope, we're going to actually I'm gonna have to sit sideways for this. That's fine. I will hold the box for her. Um, we've talked about this a little bit before, not in detail. Um, people that know me know about it. I have a mental, I have a long list of medical conditions. I'm like a train wreck. <laughs> Smart ass. Um, one of my things. Language. <laughs> English. Uh, <laughs> Smart butt. That's what she said. Promise. One of my things is don't need to be demonetized. I have problems with my memory. If I can get this open without cutting myself off. Would you um, like me to help? No. Um, because I like when it's like a smooth line. 
Okay. Um, I have issues with my memory, meaning I can order something, and I'm actually the one that placed these orders. Every single one of them. And I don't remember half of what we ordered. Like, I know some of what we ordered because I will go in and check, like, on delivery and stuff. But, like, I don't remember exactly what we ordered without going to my Amazon and looking at it. Okay, guys. Uh, sorry about that. We ended up taking an impromptu break. Camera died. Yeah, I kind of needed it, but... That's okay. In the meantime, we got some food. I refilled my sippy sip stuff, and I know this has been long. Bear with me. But this is the last box. We promise. And... Sorry if it's very weird from when it cut off. We've moved some stuff. Oh, yeah. We haven't put anything, like, fully, fully away yet, just because we aren't entirely sure where we want everything. But we're getting somewhere. We've already cut this box, so we're going to open it up. This box only has three items in it. We already took out the bubble wrap, I think. Yes, we did. Um, bubble wrap. Zero apparently doesn't want to stay up. Well, yeah, it's a doggo. He wants all the doggo stuff. All the doggo things! Uh, so we had some dinner, and so we're good to go for another little bit. Uh, we're going to try and make this quick because I don't have spare batteries. We only have the one battery for my charger. We charged it for like an hour and a half, and so it's got charge on it, but I still want to be able to let it charge fully. Actually, I'm probably going to have to kill the camera now. Yep. But we will get this done, and... Um We'll make it work. Exactly. So, um, the first thing that I'm going to grab is this one because it's purple and it's pretty. And I like to spoil my wife. Yeah, I'm spoiled, y'all. Um, so, I plan on taking my doggo everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean legitimately everywhere, whether it's in his car or in my friend's car or with the puppy pal and when we go on like weekend trips and things like that and I'm one of those people that I refuse to take I am your first I refuse to take a doggo somewhere without being fully prepared and um oh, it's got a little bit of a straight thread but we'll we'll, we'll dress that focus 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 um, <laughs> I refuse to take a puppy somewhere unless I am prepared whether it's like a two hour trip or an overnight trip, you always want to make sure you've got water for them, you've got their leash for them, you've got the things they need. So I was looking around while I was researching puppy things. I kept seeing this pop up and it's like a duffel bag for dogs. And not even gonna lie, I was calling it a diaper bag for the puppy. And I kept telling her, no, it's not a diaper bag. So instead, it's a pupper bag. <laughs> I got the purple one because I like purple. Um, it came in this bag with this little card. Um, it's by T May T Moy Fashion and Function. Um, Ninety day warranty, thirty day return for any reason, lifetime support. Cool. And actually, even when uh, we go on walks, if we want to stop at a park and let them run around, load up some toys. Mm -hmm. And some extra bags that we're not gonna scratch and sniff. You're just <laughs> on that scratch and sniff thing. Yes, I you? am. It it made me laugh. And first thing going to bed is I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so the first thing that I do notice, it's a really nice material. Like it's really good. Oh, wow, that is. Right, it's really good canvas. It's got some netting on the back for like a back pocket back here, um, but it's really good netting. It's not like a cheap netting. It's not stretchy. Um, it's got like a little, I liked this one because it's got this thing, so like if I'm ever traveling with a rolling suitcase, I can stick my rolling suitcase through here and set it on top of the suitcase. Um, and that goes behind the pocket. It's got really good stitching lines. Um, there's one like stray thread here on the bottom that I can clip off. Um, but it's got like, here's one handle. I'm pretty sure it's got like an over the shoulder handle too. Um, and then this is the top of it. What's really nice is how many pockets this thing has. And I actually think that it comes with stuff too. It does. I very specifically made sure I ordered the one that came with extra things. No, so, I was going to grab the zipper on this side and pull it around. Oh no, the zipper's over here real quick. I know. Um, so the first thing is this very top pocket, which is really nice. I'm just going to pull the zipper around for you. 
is this thing itself is a pocket with a zipper here and it's got some mesh. This is some of the extras. We're going to go over the extra glass. Made me laugh because to me it looks like a mini suitcase. That's kind of what it is. It's a suitcase for a pupper. Oh, my eyeliner's starting to get crumpy. But you've got like little smaller pouches and then you've got this zipper pouch which goes this way. And so like this is not too, too deep. I'd say this is maybe an inch deep. And then you've got the zipper pocket maybe on the top. Maybe half an inch. And this is, believe it or not, this is just the top flap. When you lift up the top flap, whoop! We're getting stuff falling. <laughs> it actually opens up to a full-on duffel. And apparently there are two little bags. Yes, there are. Um, those are actually, I was... Sorry. I love you. You're, 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 I, I need to talk this. I love you. <laughs> Big thing first, then the little things. Okay. Um, you have your large central compartment, which does have a divider that is removable. This is lined, and if I remember right, it's a little bit insulated, but not like super insulated. On the side, you've got a couple more of these netting pockets. And I was right, there's the loops right here for the straps. And then you've also got this front pocket that has an additional pocket here. Um, all over, this thing has really nice stitching. There's, there's no smell to this at all, which is really, really cool. Um, it folds up nice and compact. Nothing. We're going to put this in the box for a second. It does come with two of these smaller cube-like bags. And what these are is these are food carry bags. And it's these, okay, these are the ones that are definitely insulated. Yeah, I'd rather take one of those for lunch. <laughs> this is not a lunch bag, you weirdo. I mean, it could be. Um, these, I think, hold either six cups or eight cups of food each. And it sent two of them. Um, which is like, I feel like depending on the size of your dog and how much they eat, that's just enough for like a weekend away. If you're going to be longer than that, you're probably going to want more than one. So we're going to pop this guy open and go ahead and put one of, put them both in there. You don't have to extend that one. I'm going to because it's going to help keep this guy open. Fair enough. And what's really nice is this guy is big enough that these are supposed to stack on top of each other. I was going to keep it open. Well, you stack them because then we're going to stick the divider in. Okay. So this guy is big enough that you've got the two food things, and then you've got this divider, which... That's the divider. No. Yes, okay, that's the divider and the food. Um, you've got this nice little divider that slides in, and you Velcro it. It's up higher, which you're good. Okay, and my husband is going to be wonderful in display. Oh, cross it. I'll even hold it up the other way so you can see that it actually holds it pretty well. So you've got your space for your food, and then you've got space for toys on the other end, or like a blankie or something. Um, the other or thing, or even puppy pads if you have to go out of town with a puppy. Yeah. Um, the other reason I really like this one is it came with a couple of extra accessories to include a food mat. Um, I'm one of those really weird people <laughs> that I put pet bowls on mats, um, especially if I'm like not at home, like even when I'm at home or if I'm not at home, because like, for example, if you're in a hotel and you're feeding them wet food and they get it all over outside of the bowl, if you've got it on a mat, you clean the mat and you don't have wet food all over in a hotel's carpet. So we're going to put this in this front pocket. I got you. Just hand me and I will put it on. Slide it in the bit. And then the next thing, it's got its nice little shoulder strap here, which is a good length, a good adjustable length. And it comes with, this is gonna have to be, will you flip that for me? It's got like a shoulder pad. Oh, never mind, I got it. It comes with a nice shoulder pad, um, good sturdy plastic clips. So you wanna go ahead and apply that? Yes, I will. And then one of my absolute favorite parts about this, it comes with travel bowls. And these travel bowls, if I remember, 
I know they hold at least, I'm pretty sure they hold more than two cups, but I know they hold at least two cups of food and water. I would have to check the listing for the exact measurement. But what's really nice is they're this like uh, silicone, what do you call that silicone? silicone? It's got a nice hard edge and then you just pop it open. That yeah, looks about like two cups. And I mean, it's not like super, super big, but also at the same time, if you're traveling, you don't want something super, super big. Um, you've got a blue one and a green one, and they both come with these nice D rings so that if you're not taking the bag and like say you just need to take a water bowl with you, you just clip it onto the leash. And you can usually take those out for walks. And it just pops flat like so. Yep. I'm gonna put that in with the. Yes, I will. And again, this is one of those things, guys, that. I'll just grab it and put it in. Also, show again for the people that missed the first time on how easy it is for anybody to just flat better do than it. I do. Um, and this is really nice. I put them in like that because if you put it in there, it can, can you ruin put it. Next to each other? Yeah. Does it I have can. space for that? Yeah. So cool. The front pocket has space for you to put them side by side if you want to minimize your bowl. Here, I will also present that for you real quick. Lean it up so it actually does. And it zips up fairly easily. And yes, this seems like kind of a big bag for some people, but when you consider the size of the dog we're getting and you consider if you are using it for like a weekend bag, uh, because we go see his parents while well, we try to, and a lot of the times when we go see his parents, we just inadvertently end up staying the night. Uh, uh, except for during this... Uh... Yeah, except for during the quarantine. We have not yet been up... Well, we've been up once since quarantine started, but it was like way, way in the beginning. It was um, way before everything It happened. was before yeah. all of the shutdowns. Yeah. Um, and we haven't been since, and we're hoping to go soon now that everything's starting to open back up. But we also have this thing that... We have a tendency to go up and then we just decide to stay the night. And so this would give us the ability to have everything we need for our puppy with us. And we're probably not going to leave the house without it. So. Yeah, and the other one is we have a tendency to go down and see my grandfather who lives two hours south of us. And that's also one of those where sometimes we're like, hey, let's just stay down here, you know, visit the rest of the family. Yep. But we're moving on to the next thing. And this actually coincides with, well, <laughs> going, going places. places. So This one is specifically for his vehicle. Um, this is a combination. Oh, nice! It's got a zipper! Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a combination for our safety, the condition of the car, and the puppy's safety. Um, we got, and I will, since we've discovered the manner of which we're recording now, um, I will take the camera out, record it, and kind of show you guys what it looks like at a later time when we have it fully set up. Um, we got the one, this is a seat cover. Again, we got this off Amazon. It's not just a seat cover. It is to cover the whole back seat. Yeah, it's like a hammock. Uh, the one that we got, um, like you can hang it fully like a hammock. It's got the sides that zip up to protect the sides of the car or to keep the puppy in the car when you open the door. Um, it also has the option to zip down the middle of the front. So like if you have someone sitting in the back with the puppy, um, you can unzip it and you can still have it hammocked on the puppy's side and not hammocked where the person sits. And it also comes with a uh, leash hook to the top of the car. Well, it actually well, to it, the top of the inside. Of the it car. comes with a lot of things. That's part of what we're going to go through. Um, first off, I am super impressed, like just at the package they shipped it in. Oh yeah. Like that is. I was not expecting that. I was not. I was expecting it to come in like one of these, yeah. but bigger. But this is like, this is going to sound really strange, but this is like high quality, like garment. <laughs> This is, how, this is how you know your dog's going to be safe, no matter what. This is how you know it's something you could trust. And like, just pulling it out, because if I remember right, I got the one that had the, yep, I got the one that had the storage bag. So not only is it in I a won. storage bag, the storage bag is in a bag. Oh, nope. Oh, it, is it? Yeah. It is. It's got a nice little carry bag that zips shut. It's got two handles, nice and sturdy got good stitching, like really good stitching. There's no loose threads. I'm talking about this like it's clothing, but I'm excited. 
I know. Um, oh, and it's got your instructions on how to put it in. You've got uh, thank you for supporting us with your warranty and information. Um, it tells you your site. It's 54 inches by 58 inches. This is water resistant. It's got non-slip in it. Um, the packaging includes the seat cover, two hammock belts, so for holding it over the uh, front seat. Uh, the warranty card, which is this, it came with a pet safety belt, so like a seat belt that you can clip into your seat belt and hook it onto either a harness or their leash. An extra waterproof cushion and the storage bag. Um, this is also like your how to install, this is like your ways that it can be done, as well as your care instructions. Uh, this is a hand wash only, do not dry clean it, do not stick it in your washing machine. Um, apparently you can iron it. I don't know if I'm going to iron it. Probably won't. We'll probably just vacuum it every once in a while to get the dog hair. Oh, and it comes... <laughs> or we'll just use that. And it comes with a lint remover. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's not even listed, but that is super cool. Yeah. I love these things. Not listed in here? Uh-uh. No, it is not. Well, let's go ahead and put that in the puppy bag. Amen. And now the side. I'm deciding whether or not I want to take up. Oh. Oh, that's. That's nice. That's a nice quality seat belt. Yeah, that'll keep the dog safe, definitely. And that's that's our number one priority right now with any dog and any puppy we get is safety first. Because like, everybody should be well. <laughs> Well aware of how safe their puppy is. Like, not only is that a thick material, that's a soft material, and that is, that's a good clip. And it just buckles right into your seat belt, so injecting it, you just push your little seat belt. I'm deciding, do we want to take this out of the bag and, like, unfold it, or do we want to just leave it in here? Let's just leave it in here, and I will, or, and you can do a video on when I put it in the back seat. I was hoping to try and get the cushion out so the cushion can like start pumping up those. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. I love you taking the cushion out. Okay. Probably going to be putting this in my car tomorrow. This is it. Cushion. It's in this. It's already cushy. No, like it's got a removable cushion. Yes. This is the cushion. We're have we have it upside down. Or no, we don't. Oh, <laughs> the cushion is Velcro to it. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Oh, cool! And you can flip it over. Yeah, I'm glad we did this. Yeah. So, so this is your extra cushion, guys. And this actually looks like you could have it just sitting in your car if you need it. And it's got multiple Velcro strips, which I like. I thought it was gonna be like. When I started on Velcroing it, I thought it was going to be like an entire strip. It's not. It's like little patches just enough to hold it down. Yeah. It's got also, it's got like these pockets. Ah. One of them is a beverage holder. And what's really nice is the pockets Velcro shut so the puppy can't get in it. And this is, this is, this is the bottom as yeah, well. Yeah, this is the bottom. Um, the top, this, this not this is the part that, stuff. This is the part that goes against your seat. No, this is... Oh, that is cool. We can choose which side it goes on. Oh, that's nifty. So if we don't want too much, we're fine. And yeah, no, you were right. It's the zip goes up. And then what's really nice, this is my favorite part, and the reason I ordered this, this is one of the reasons I wanted to do it. It's got the spot so people can still buck, buckle up without you having to take the whole thing off. It's just a little Velcro patch. Yep. So, that's super awesome. Oh yeah. That it looks like. This feels really nice. It does. Like this is quilted nicely. Oh, and also on this side. Yep. As well. And so, I'm zipping up these two sides so that I can hold the two edges so we can show them kind of bad. Ah. What we mean. Oh, uh, what do you mean by so how it kind of hammocks? This is what we mean by it's a hammock. Also, if you ever want to and you don't have your dog around with you, um, good thing to put groceries in. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what these hooks are for, though. Oh, um, probably to 
I don't know either. Probably multiple docs. Hooks him into it. Maybe. We'll do more research. We will. Um, but, so that's what that is. Just a quick disclaimer, just like I do on a lot of my makeup videos, guys. Um, quick disclaimer, none of this stuff was, uh, like, sponsored. None of this was affiliate. None of this was any of that. Um, should I link this stuff, link my products down below? Let, let us try the products out. If we like the way the products work and if we are free to say... Or if I feel like it's something that will be good for you guys, if any of you have puppies, I will come back and put links. Um, we also have so one stay tuned more thing. For that. Yes, there's one more thing. Um, but stay tuned for that. I'll come back and I'll do a review on all of this. I'll take. I'll actually take up my Amazon order and do a review. Um, last thing is a fun thing. But before we get to the fun thing, again, we bought all of this with our own money. Um, any opinions? Oh. Yeah. No, no, just notice that. Uh, That's what I told you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be me. He's I'll, tired. I'll be honest, yeah. Um. But. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this over ourselves. But I will. We will come back and t sit together, and do a review. And by the time we do a review, we will have the puppy. You will see her quite frequently. But we will have the puppy, um, and maybe get some puppy opinions and. Um, let us know what you guys think of this. Like and share this video with your friends. Um, and let me know if you want to see more, like, puppy hauls. They more than likely will not always be this ex extensive. But because they might have puppy in them. Yeah, but they might have actual puppy in them. And we'll do, or probably do a review with the puppy if it's a toy. So. Or a biscuit or treat or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. And On that note, the fun thing, the fun thing, the fun thing. I had to make sure she waited for last. Because this ball right here glows in the dark. One, <laughs> I'm going to, ha I, I want to at least give a little bit of a description. Okay, give the description, but give it to me. And it does that. <laughs> and, it, well, it glows in the dark and because we plan on... It's a wobble wag giggle ball. Yeah. Um... And for me, I work nights, and on my days off, I'm up all night long. So, I mean, if I want to go outside and play with the doggo, this thing lights up. And we couldn't help it because there's actually a picture of a shepherd on the side of it. Um, and we were looking at this one or the original one, and I am not going to lie, I was more than happy to splurge. It is a couple dollars extra for the glow-in-the-dark one. Sorry, yeet! But I also have a tendency to come downstairs in the middle of the night without turning on any lights and and the um, last thing we need is me stepping on a wibble wobble wag giggle ball and we don't need her going ah so this is definitely one that will not be going up into the kennel <laughs> yeah, especially because that would wake me up in the morning <laughs> but Anyways, guys, um, that's all the products we have for right now. <laughs> Take this away from me. <laughs> Into the box of toys it goes. Um, I hope you guys had fun looking at all of our puppy products with us. We're actually going to start putting stuff away, probably start setting stuff up. We're going to set those up in the car tomorrow. Um, I will definitely, as soon as I hear back from the breeder, I will let, I will let you guys know whether it's a yay or nay on putting puppies on my Instagram. Um... Also, we will be back probably either next week or week four. What do you think? Yeah. Week three or week four? Week four. We'll be back week four to kind of sit and chat with you guys just to kind of do a life update um, and a puppy update where we're at with that um, and where we're at with um, not just prep but like picking out names. Oh, yeah. Because we actually, um, it's looking like we will get to meet the puppies at week four as long as we are you know, perfectly cleared and health-wise as long as the puppies are doing well. Um, so we are super excited, you guys. Yes, we are. Um, stay tuned on my Instagram for more, like, fun uh, tips, tricks, or, like, sneak peeks. Um, in regards to the Disney-inspired series, uh, the next movie I'm going to do is Cinderella um, because I'm trying to stay kind of in the timeline, and I did watch the ones prior to Cinderella, and I just didn't get inspired by any of them, and... The whole point is the inspiration. Um, 
but we're going to go ahead and start putting this stuff away and organizing and getting stuff opened up and set up and everything that we can <laughs> yeah um and then we'll just kind of go from there it was wonderful sitting and chatting with you guys uh thanks for sitting and chatting with us thank you so much for bearing with us this is like super long um so i'm gonna end it the way i end all of my stuff remember be kind to one another be kind to yourself be the change you want to see in the world and especially right about now always remember a smile is infectious I'll see you guys later. Bye.